What is up my pen friends and paper lovers? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and for today's video we're doing our monthly roundup of stationery favorites. This pen was definitely a favorite for the past month and what's extra special is that it was a gift from my pen friend Daniel. So Daniel, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I've been enjoying this pen quite a bit. This is my first pen from pen bbs so i'm really excited about it and daniel kind of read my mind because i had been looking at just i think it was instagram and i went through the explorer page and i saw that a lot of people liked the pen bbs and i remember getting recommended to check out this brand in my fountain pen collection video i believe it was cameron who recommended the pen bbs but in a different model number, so I'll still have to check that out. But this is giving me really great first impressions of the Pen BBS line as a whole. I love the swirling translucent body and the way that it's shaped. It is a resin body and it came with a converter, but I was reading up on it and you can also eyedropper fill it, which is pretty cool. I currently have this inked up with Montegrappa Violet, which is an ink that my pen friend Daniel had also sent me. So Daniel, thank you again. And when I was first deciding on what to ink this pen up with, I wanted to go for either a blue or a purple because that's the color of the pen body and I try to match my inks with my pens it's not always the case but it's a nice little thing when you know it comes together like that I think it was a great match for this pen and it just makes me excited to pick up and use it it is a fine nibbed pen in my opinion it's a really smooth writer and again I just look forward to using it whenever I get the chance to next up we've got another fountain pen and it is the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR in purple now originally when Twisby announced that they were coming out with this I was very intrigued and was considering purchasing, but around the same time they also announced that they were coming out with the Black and Rose Gold 580RG. I believe that's the model name. I felt like I kind of had to choose between the two, so in my mind I was going to go for the Black and Rose Gold and hold off on this, but there wasn't a release date or any information like that. So I'm still waiting for them to announce or give us like a heads up as to when the black and rose gold is going to come out. If you've heard anything, please let me know in the comment section below. It was Angelina. I think she had messaged me on Instagram. So I felt kind of like I was like, oh, well, you know, she has very similar taste as I do. So maybe it's worth picking up and Again, I was kind of going back and forth, but I ended up seeing it on the Goulet Pen Company's website on their bottom shelf, and it was listed for $48. So originally, I believe it's listed for $60 to $65, depending on the nib size. The discounted price is really what pushed me over to hit purchase and order this pen, and I'm very excited and happy about it. I didn't have a choice in the nib size because it was on the bottom shelf. It was basically a return from someone else, but I'm kind of happy that it worked out that way because I ended up with a broad nib. You've all been encouraging me to try out different nib sizes. So here it is, a broad nib, my very first one in my collection. And I decided to ink it up with Lamy Vibrant Pink because there's a lot of like glitter particles that I wanted to you know, highlight, I guess. And I like this pen and ink combo so far, but I think that my next fill will probably be with the Montegrappa Violet. I think the color would match it really nicely. If you're unfamiliar with this pen, it is a clear demonstrator piston fill pen. That's great because you have a large ink capacity. So for those of you who are looking for something like that, this would be a great option. This pen has a resin body with aluminum accents. And something that I think sparked a lot of conversation within the community was that for this particular model, the grip section is ribbed. It's interesting. I don't find it bothersome at all. I don't have another 580 to compare it to. For some people, it might be a deal breaker, but for me, again, it's been fine. Overall, I'm super happy that I ended up getting this pen. Would I have gotten it at full price? I'm not quite sure, but 
I do think that I would have been missing out on something special because I've been enjoying it a lot lately. Another favorite that I want to share with you guys from this past month is actually a storage solution that I stumbled upon just by happenstance. My husband and I have been trying to clear out our office. It's sort of been a work in progress and our office is getting better i will say that so we're really trying to work towards making a functional and organized space that both of us can enjoy but i was going through some boxes that we kind of stored in the closet after we moved in and haven't looked at since and there were a lot of home items and i found this bamboo tray organizer that we used to use in our kitchen to organize our flatware and everything and sort of at the same time i was clearing out my desk so I had an empty drawer and the tray organizer. I put two and two together and decided that it might work as a washi tape organizer. And I'm so happy that it actually worked out that way. Some of you may remember an older video that I did where I share my washi tape collection and how I organized it. And basically I was using an empty thank you card box. That worked for some time, but every time I opened the drawer, washi tape was kind of rolling around if that box wasn't full or if I didn't organize it in such a way but the bamboo tray organizer is great because it has the slots in it and it fit perfectly in my desk drawer so I was pretty excited about that. So I have all my washi tape organized and I also have a longer section for just miscellaneous things that I like to keep at my desk like my notepad, my scissors, and that sort of thing. I'm just so happy that it looks cleaner and more aesthetic. Like every time I open that drawer, I feel a spark of joy. I shared last week on the community board as well as my Instagram that I just celebrated four years of marriage with my husband. I also posted our highlight reel, so if you guys want to watch that. I knew our anniversary was coming up and again, in the process of cleaning out our office, I found a lot of things that I just kind of forgot about and one of those things was a scrapbook that my godparents gave us for our wedding and a bunch of pictures that we had used for our table settings. So the way that we did it was I printed out pictures of different milestones that we had together before we got married and I wrote a little blurb about what that picture represented. So basically each table had their own little part of our love story and I wanted to save those things so that I could eventually put them in the scrapbook. It took me four years to do it but finally I did. Finally got around to it this last month and I feel so good about it. There are still a bunch of pages left over. I think there's 20 pages in the scrapbook and I still have a couple in the back that are empty, but I went ahead and put those pictures in here. And then in the very back, there are my husband's vows. I gave my vows back to him for our anniversary last week. And then I was just keeping like little things, like there's a letter for my birthday that he wrote me that I wanted to keep. This was just a little project from this past month that I was really proud of. And of course, I was happy to celebrate another year of marriage with my husband. I know I don't talk about scrapbooking a lot on my channel but it's still like pen and paper related so I thought it would still be fun to share. I would love to hear from you guys what things you've been enjoying in the month of August. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of my videos. I love talking about all things pen and paper so if that's your jam you should definitely stick around. For more pen and paper goodness mixed in with a little bit of my personal life you guys can follow me on Instagram that's at Devin Lou with two n's and two u's. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening so please take care until then. Thank you again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!